Hi everyone, welcome back to training time. I'm on Dolores because I was using her for dressage practice. Oh, I almost trained Spike. I am so sorry, but I kind of hate this pony now. So, you know what? Let me just take the tack off. Oh yeah, and I got this new sweater. It's so like mustardy, puke colored, I love it. Okay, we're putting on tall boots. I started training Flora because I decided this is Flora. One night with my club, we went out to the horse market and compared the horses, and this one is Flora, okay? So you guys did vote for that too. I posted on my story a long time ago and asked you guys which of the Ackle Techs is Flora, and you guys said this one. So I agree. I think it is this one. So that is why I started training her because then I believe she was the real Flora. So deep. I'm gonna arrange my horses because this is bothering me. There we go. Poppy and Sally, they're together. So cute. Hi, this is me editing and yes, I kind of lost my voice. You can hear my keyboard the entire time because I screwed up, but now I can't fix it. So I hope you don't mind. Also, I lost my voice throughout the course of the whole video, so that is why I sounded so weird. On Instagram, I asked you guys, what is something you remember of Old Star Stable? A lot of people talk about Old Star Stable and how they want it back, and I definitely don't agree with them because there are so many things that you guys don't realize that we have now that we didn't have then. I can't imagine going back to Old Star Stable and not having what we have now. We have so much more now. So what I remember is we couldn't take our saddles off. We couldn't take our bridles off. We, you just couldn't take tack off. Your horse had to wear tack. Yeah, also we only had one horse. And then when you even could get horses, you were limited. You could only have like five or six, I think it was in your stable. Now people have over a hundred horses. I know plenty of people who have over a hundred. How would they survive with only having five of their horses? Imagine having to choose five. That would be so crazy. The trailer used to cost 75 shillings. Oh my gosh, yes. That is why I used to avoid the trailer like the plague because I couldn't give up my 75 shillings when I was a noob because I wanted to use my shillings to buy clothes. And I'm so happy that it's 25 shillings now because I don't know, I guess it is a huge difference. Still, I use it so much now. The cat, I miss the cat. I got so many submissions about the cat. I do miss the cat that was on the loading screen. I don't know, I wish they would bring the cat back because I love the beautiful artwork that they have, but the cat was just so much better. Being stuck with your hat and gloves on. Yeah, you couldn't take off your gloves. You couldn't take off your hat, not even in the settings then. You couldn't take off anything. The snow and horse island. Ugh. I know a lot of people miss the snow. I don't really miss the snow because it just lasted so long and you couldn't choose whether to have snow or not. And then Horse Island was a big one, so when we were allowed to have unlimited horses, you could only have a certain number in your stable, so you would have to pay. You had to pay to send horses out of your stable. They would go to Horse Island. It was like a little vacation. And I remember I would never send my starter horse or Flora, it was just a rule. Like for me and a few other club members, we said, we're not sending our starter horse. Our starter horse is so important. We're not doing that. Yeah, I never sent Flora, the old Flora, but I did send carrots one time and I was a little traumatized, even though it's like a horse vacation. So I don't know why I was making such a big deal about it. The better chat. I don't think the chat was better then. Maybe for some servers, because some servers didn't really have that much of a filter then, and now they do. On the North American servers, the chat was way, 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 way worse then. You couldn't say player names. I do remember this one update that we logged on and every word was filtered. It was a glitch that happened. The chat was just a bunch of hashtags. 
It was pretty crazy. But that was just one day. That was just a little glitch that happened. They fixed it, you know, it was fine. Ugly soul riders. I know they ain't that old, but damn, they scared the hell out of me. I mean, okay. When I was younger and playing this game, I did not think they were ugly. I thought they were amazing, and I tried to make my character look just like them, and I looked up to all of them. I thought they were- I thought the Soul Riders were role models to my character, and I would dress up just like them. And one time I had the spiky hair just because Lisa had the spiky hair, and, and one time I had red hair because Alex had red hair. If we're going to compare them to how they look now, though, you really can't. <laughs> Honestly, you really can't. Be right back. I need to make some tea. I'm just going to leave myself on photo mode. Whoa, whoa, there's people standing on their horses. What is going on in Star Stable? I am very concerned. Oh my, <laughs> this is really funny. This is actually really cool. I wish I could do that. It's going to go away when she jumps. When starters couldn't jump until they had Star Rider. Poor non-Star Riders, you know? Wait, I'm not doing this race. Bye. Not being able to jump in Silverglade Village or Jarlaheim. This one, oh gosh, it used to be so annoying to not be able to jump. And I'm not sure exactly why they didn't let us jump in those areas. When Loretta was mean. I got this one so much. Loretta was so mean, and apparently I've heard that they changed the quests to make her nice, basically. I mean, not nice, but not as evil as she was. I've been doing some old quests on my alternate accounts just because of the free Star Rider code that happened, and a lot of the quests are so different. It's very odd to me. I know quest dialogues get changed occasionally. One quest in Jarlaheim with the alternative punky kids. I'm sorry, I, I'm trying to label them, but I have no idea what to call them. I don't want to call them emo. There was a swear word in the quest dialogue and parents freaked out. The word was bad. People just got very, very offended. I feel like it would have been okay if they would have just put, you know, hashtags over part of it because kids wouldn't even know what that means. They wouldn't know that's technically an offensive word. They took it out of the quest altogether. Noob days when the friggin' horses would walk away. Oh yeah, in your old home stable, there was a glitch one time where you would get off your horse and they just take off. Hi, Loretta. I was just talking about you. The cat and having to log in through the website. I will never forget the stable doors. Oh gosh. When unlocking Golden Hills made you absolutely elite and Cape West was popular. Oh yes, Golden Hills, unlocking it used to be the biggest thing ever. You cannot have more than 10 horses in your home stable. You would have to pay to send them away. Oh, what is going on? Tora, what the heck? We were all emo, lol. Did I have an emo phase? I don't think I did. Um, I just know it was a huge thing. I had a phase where I would just wear pink all the time. The time SSO had the shirt contest and the winners got their shirt made in the game. The shirts in Fort Pinta at that one store, they're from the contest. I remember making my entry. I was pretty proud of my entry, but it was horrible. I wish I could show it to you, but I don't think I can even find it. I think there was also another contest where you would send in a photo of your character with an outfit and they would make it into a poster. So they made three, three of people's photos into an official poster kind of thing. Oh, also, does anyone remember DJ Sparkly? So she was this player. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna fail. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no, no, no. They changed her name to DJ Sparkly. And for the disco, she would create a playlist outside of Star Stable of music to play during the disco. And everyone could go to that website and play the music. And then there was a time where she was supposed to show up at the disco as a guest and she never showed up. So what a disappointment, but they did turn a player into a DJ at the disco. Dismounting, oh, please help. <coughs> Excuse me. 
dismounting and calling for pickup to do glitches. I mean, the only thing that happened was we would be hanging off of our horses. Oh, also an, an annoying thing. When you're riding and you open the settings menu, your horse stops now, which is kind of annoying. I wish there was something different because sometimes I like to screw with the settings while I'm running. Deleting pants to be a wild horse. If you guys didn't know, we did not have a wild horse option. So in order to be a wild horse, you would go into the star stable files and delete all of the pants files. Wasn't that against the rules because that's technically modifying the game? And that was how people did wild rules because you couldn't just go on your settings and click a button and be a wild horse. Free Star Rider Weekends. <gasps> Are Star Rider Weekends still a thing? Does that still happen? I feel like I haven't seen that in so long. I love the Free Star Rider Weekends even though I was a Star Rider because I had a few friends that weren't Star Riders, so every Star Rider weekend, it was fun to play the game with them and go to areas that they couldn't before and show them around. I mean, I still played the game with them when they couldn't go to other areas because we would do roles and we would stay like in Fort Pinta and Moorland, but Free Star Rider weekend was just extra fun. Snow every Christmas and putting up Christmas trees in Silverglade and Jarlheim. I kind of miss putting up the Christmas trees. That was actually really fun. And you would have to go to all of these, like the windmill and Barney's, and you would get the little Christmas baubles, they would call them. They wouldn't call them ornaments. When our necks looked like a log. What? Okay, a lot of people mentioned how we used to have giraffe necks, and now they're a lot shorter. But when we got our necks shortened, we were not used to our new characters, so we thought it looked so weird because we were so used to having long necks for so long. Oh god, oh god. Oh. I like how my cat just sits and waits for me to stop failing. The old bobcats race before they changed its route. I remember forgetting that they changed it every single time, so I would just keep going around the long route. I'm not sure why they shortened it exactly, but I mean, I, I guess I like it shorter just because it takes less time to finish. I feel like global chat didn't exist at one point. I feel like there was only say chat. I'm trying to remember, but at one point I feel like global- Why am I failing every single jump? This is so frustrating. I'm so sorry. I looked it up and it was called stable chat and you had to stand at the barns to use it. And then when global chat was first added, you could use it everywhere in the whole game, but they since changed that. A lot of people in the submissions box, they said there was no drama in Old Star Stable. Oh, honey. There was tons of drama. There is always drama, okay? Always. I also remember how painfully long it first took to build the Harvest County's bridge. Oh, I know. It took, oh gosh, it took forever, and now they shortened it so the newer players, you can get into Harvest Counties faster, which is, I mean, that's cool. I remember the day SSO first released fingerless gloves, and they had red nail polish. I think the white ones had pink nail polish, but they all had nail polish, and now they the nail polish disappeared. I remember the old stables we used to have. I feel like one of the biggest updates on this entire game was the home stable update. At this part, I was talking about our current home stable, but it honestly could go for both times since at one point the home stables didn't even exist, but we didn't really need them because we only had one horse. When we got this huge stable all for ourselves, people were logging on that I hadn't seen in years. I was like, oh my gosh, everyone's on this game right now because it was such a huge update. For some reason, I started ranting about the quick shop out of nowhere. The quick shop kind of irks me because it doesn't have everything. It, it doesn't even have close to everything. And in the comments of Instagram, people were saying, hey, Star Stable, like you didn't add everything to the quick shop. And they said, oh yeah, we added almost everything. No, there's not almost anything. It's only a select few items. 
on my Instagram, sometimes people ask me, where'd you get this outfit? So after the Quick Shop came out, I thought, oh, no one's gonna ask me where I got my outfit because you can just get it on the Quick Shop, right? Well, only two pieces that I was wearing, you could find on the Quick Shop. And so that's why people were still asking me where I got my outfit because they couldn't find it. I mean, I know it's a work in progress, so I just hope they add more to it. I'm getting so off topic. Oh, hey. You know when someone friend chats you and logs off, but you don't know who logged off, so you can't even see who friend chatted you? That is what just happened to me. No idle animations in the same jacket in 10 colors. It's kind of weird to think about how our horses, they were completely still and our characters, we used to not move at all. And now we have all these animations for horses and it's so beautiful. I feel like someone's chasing me because I can see someone running around with a chat bubble. Not being able to change your appearance. Oh my gosh, yes. And then what if you regret your appearance? When they added Epona and it was super exciting, I missed that excitement over a new area and I remember when it would come out, that Wednesday I would always hope for a snow day or I would always, I would hope that I would be sick so I could miss school and just stay home and play the update. I just wanted to get the flu so badly so I could be there on the day that the Harvest Counties was updated. I would still be there for the update because I could play after school, but I wanted to play it like the morning that it came out, you know? I'm filming a training time. Okay, now everyone, everyone is having a photo opportunity. <coughs> Wait, what was I even talking about? Back in the day when our saddles had no girth. Yes, and then when they finally added a girth, it was just a little belly strap. It wasn't anything super detailed like this girth. These new saddles, oh my gosh. I only wear them now because they're just my absolute favorite. I remember when I joined and Moreland had walls. Okay, I feel like the walls made it really cozy, but it does look better without the walls, like aesthetically. Violet had 20,000 subs, but now she has 100,000. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for 100,000 subscribers. I remember the day on Star Stable that I got 100 subs, and I think it took me like months, and my videos were terrible. Everything was just so bad. I remember how weird the old horses look, and how Golden Hills Valley was actually golden. Yeah, it kind of seemed like Golden Hills was magical, just because it was autumn, and everywhere else was it seemed like summer. What I think is cool is that our characters, don't they come to Jorvik for like the summer technically and then when you level up you go to golden hills and it's fall so fall comes after summer the first time my character got a concussion from galloping a morgan the morgans <laughs> their gallop is like they're like slinkies kind of this isn't that old but i remember when only one pair of pants had five riding okay that is kind of old Everyone used to race and do champs in the black jeans because those were the only racing pants. Hooves were huge and the trot was really jumpy. That reminds me a little while ago, I was with my club and we were getting the old model Frisians and Andalusians out. It was so weird to ride on them and they would bounce up and down. In old SSO, you could swim everywhere, I miss that. Okay, they're talking about the old, old, old Star Stable in the CD games, and you could, yes, you could swim everywhere, which is not part of this game, which is weird. I guess it's so we don't go where we're not supposed to, because I would take a cruise to all the forbidden areas on my horse. Missing the boat when it was an emergency, such as a champ, I used to hit my whole keyboard. Yeah, what was really the point of the fairies? I mean, I remember having to use them. I'm not sure. Oh, it was because we had no trailers practically. There were so many areas that didn't have trailers and now they do that I would get up at 5 a.m. and play all morning. I remember staying up so late on this game too, just talking with my friends and I would fall asleep on the game. My head would be on the keyboard and I'd be completely out. I wasn't there. I was dead, but I got brought back to life. Complicated story. Not everyone was part of old SSO and that's okay. 
the game was great back then, but it's also great now, and I would say it's better now. So, you know, you didn't really miss that much. I mean, actually you did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you missed a lot. Sorry to break it to you. A lot of people didn't even know what Star Stable was or they were too young. Non-Star Rider based Wild Horse roleplays and the bunny that changed our starters coats. Oh yeah, the bunny. The bunny's gone now because we don't have our starter models anymore so we can't even change our horse's coats on April Fool's. I remember old SSO having those tasty horses, now we have those flavorless ones. What? The old horses? I feel like I'm such a hater of the old horses. Their confirmation is just so bad, they don't look like real horses, oh my god. I don't like them, I'm sorry. When someone calls for stampede, everyone comes running. Yeah, stampedes were so, so popular. And now when someone calls for stampede, <laughs> crickets. It's not really that fun, to be honest. I don't know why we thought stampedes were so much fun. Maybe it was fun because I was younger and I thought running around in a herd of horses, like a huge herd of horses was like so cool. When Maya's name was May, yep, they changed it. They also changed Lisa's name to Lizzie, the little girl Lisa, not the soul rider. Loretta being rude, like really rude. You would take a dangerous fall off the smallest drop. I feel like they've definitely improved that because I've been taking some really bad falls recently, and it hasn't like shown up as a dangerous fall, which is interesting. Cheap Star Rider plus having friends. Oh my gosh, this one's kind of sad. Yeah, the Star Rider was a lot cheaper, and I mean, I guess it's because inflation, you know? And having friends, oh my gosh. I mean, I feel like it was kind of the opposite for me because when I was a noob, I remember when star hunting came out, I had no one to hunt the stars with. No one wanted to hunt with me. I was going around the whole game asking players, hey, you want to star hunt with me? Everyone would ignore me. <laughs> I just ran all the way over there and I didn't do the other race. I was too into my sob story. Finally, this player, she star hunted with me. And I still know her to this day. I played on her Minecraft server. The story doesn't end badly. It's a good ending, okay? And she ended up being really nice and we joined a club together and it was really cool. So, good times. Trying to parkour across the broken Jarlheim bridge. We wanted to try to get across to find out what was on the other side because like I said, Jarlheim or like Harvest Counties basically did not exist. This was closed for the longest time. We used to do role plays about the mystery behind that bridge. And we would say like there was a huge fire, la di da. Random stories about the bridge and what happened to it. I think two years that I was playing, it was just a bridge and you couldn't get across. And now you can get across pretty early in the game. Like lower levels can get across the bridge. When you weren't able to jump and Loretta was so damn mean. I feel like some people got really offended about Loretta, but I mean, I feel like she makes the game, you know? So you know how romance roles aren't allowed on this game, but yet Loretta and the whole quest line, the whole Loretta quest line, I feel like that is a romance between Loretta and Justin. And there were some things that I was like, wait a minute. Is that really allowed, Star Stable? You're putting that in the quest, but there's no romance rules? This is kind of interesting. The circus didn't exist, so I could live in peace knowing that Idris wasn't watching me. <laughs> Yikes, that's a burn. That's a real burn. The circus didn't exist. It was an exciting day when the circus came out for the first time. Oh. Giant heads that took up the whole screen. Are you talking about April Fools? I feel like she's not, but I just, you know, I missed that one April Fools where her heads were giant because I was so busy with school and I didn't log on for April Fools. And I'm so sad still that I missed that. I remember being so happy when we were able to buy horses for the first time. Me too. That was the most exciting update ever. I just remember shaking. I was so excited. I remember Dinosaur Valley was fogged with frost. Like you could barely see. I hated that so much. I'm so glad they fixed it. It is still a little foggy, 
but at least you can kind of see when you would go to the bus to go to the mall and then it leaves without you. Oh, I don't miss that at all. <laughs> that I couldn't make friends and I was lonely making bad music videos. Why was this me? I made horrible, horrible music videos and I was like so lonely on the game. My starter horse was my friend. Oh, I just made Flora scared by doing that. We were the hottest people with the hottest horses. Maybe in your memory of old SSO. <laughs> the crazy love roleplay everyone wanted to play. Sad to say I did that too. Okay, there were some roles. I mean, there still are. This still happens. Some roles that probably, probably shouldn't exist on this game. I hate to say that I was involved in a few roles on accident, okay? I'd like to explain myself. I did not know that the role would include breeding horses. I also didn't know that the role would include giving birth to foals. Horses bleeding everywhere, okay? I've had such crazy experiences. Anyway, that is the end of training time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, bye! Why do I always forget to make my character wave?